Those of you who are taking, listening and speaking one this fall 2020 semester, wanted to spend a few minutes talking about a, a website that I'm going to be using for the rest of the semester. Now, a lot of things are not going to change in terms of how we work day to day. We're going to continue working, uh, meeting in class every day from 8 in the morning until 10 in the morning. Uh, we'll be using uh, Microsoft Teams as we have in the past, and I'm going to continue suggesting that you reach out to me if you have any questions by sending me messages via chat in Microsoft Teams. But there's one aspect that I want to share with you, and that's using this website here. This is called Notion, and I'm going to be including a lot of information. Basically, all of the content that we've completed so far uh, throughout this semester, I've uploaded to this space. And the reason is I want to try to organize everything that we've done so far and continue to organize what we're going to do for the rest of the semester in, in a way that hopefully is a little bit easier to access and um, also is made available uh, publicly. Now, we're still going to have a lot of what you create. Uh, it will remain private, and uh, we'll continue using OneDrive in a lot of cases and also the online space within Microsoft Teams. So a lot of that information will be kept private, but uh, a lot of what we do, I'm going to be sharing again through this space, and I want to kind of go over how you can access this if you choose to do so. Now, this is optional. So if you find that this is too much, you're just not interested in accessing the content uh, through this page, that's fine. But I may be referencing this page, especially for up and coming assignments that we do, activities that we do. Uh, I'll be sharing spaces. I'll be sharing pages within a notion. Uh, and, uh, and so I want to explain today how you can uh, access this page and kind of generally speaking, navigate around this space. I'm going to be sharing this link in uh, Microsoft Teams so you can access this page as it appears here. This is basically the home page for this course. And I've also included the syllabus here. This is a PDF file that you can also download and access via your computer. Now, as I talk and share with you here uh, this space and, and this page, know that you can also access all of this information on your cell phone, and we'll see what that looks like here in a few minutes and so that you can compare and see uh, whether or not you want to access the same information via your cell phone or your computer. So here we see just basic information about the course. I've included a link to our, our uh, space in Flipgrid. So we have a group dedicated in Flipgrid for the different topics that we'll continue to uh, interact with throughout the rest of the semester. Here I've included some links, so you can access a few of these links. Uh, you'll recognize some of these topics that we've already talked about in class, the first being Teacher Ease, which is our grade book. We've talked a little bit about Creative Commons and also how to use DuckDuckGo. So I'll continue using this space to provide a quick links to different topics that uh, that relate to the class. Now here we have a calendar and this calendar basically is going to show all of the activities that we uh, have completed for the course and in some cases activities that we will complete going forward. You'll notice that this is a calendar view and if you're not familiar with Notion, there are different ways that you can access this information. So here you'll notice that this is a calendar view. And if you click on this down arrow, you'll see that there are different views. Now, at the time of this recording, there are only two views. But depending on when you're watching this video, a lot of the information that appears here could change. And probably in the future, there will be more views of, uh, available to you. But you can see here in this case, you can easily click on this arrow and go back and forth between the different views. So by default, most of the time, this will uh, the calendar view will appear. I think this is the easiest because at a glance, you can see each day. And you'll notice as I hover over each of these days, you'll see the different activities 
that we completed for that day. So if I were to click on any of these, you'll notice it pops up and you'll find additional information related to that task. Notice by default, when you click on uh, one of the activities, it shows up as a pop-up. And you know from here, you can easily navigate around the, uh, the information. But you also have an option to open this up as a page. And in that case, it opens up, it takes up the whole um, browser. And you'll notice here along the top, you'll have a breadcrumb that basically tells you where you are. So you can easily go back in this case and go back to LNS content and you'll be back to the information. Now this is something that might be a little bit confusing and uh, again, here in a few minutes, we'll compare this to how this looks on, on the cell phone. But let me explain a little bit how this, this works. So again, this is our main page for the course, Listening and Speaking 1. Notice that this uh, this database, essentially this is called the database, and we have here what's called a, it's a linked database. So if I were to click on this option right here, it's, it's going to take me to a page, just a dedicated page, where all of this information resides. And it's a little bit confusing because it lists by default all the individual activities that have been uploaded to this database. That's different than this view, which is the calendar view. But it's basically the same information. In fact, it's exactly the same information. It's just two different ways of uh, accessing or, or viewing the information. So in this case, this database is inserted into or embedded into this main page, right? So when you click on an activity, right, and it, it will pop up and you'll be able to view the information, my suggestion would be to access this information in this pop-up screen. If you open up the activity as a page, then if you use the breadcrumb to go back to the database, it's going to take you back to this, and this may not be what you want. You may want to just go back to this page, okay, which is, again, the main page. All right, so again, my suggestion would be just to click on the pop-up, and then you can click outside of the, the activity, and you're back to the main page. It's a little, little weird. Um, but that's how I would suggest navigating around this database if you're accessing it on your computer. Now, if you scroll down a little bit more, you'll see the same database, but now listed as assignments. So I'm going to offer two different views for this uh, in the main page of our class, the calendar view and the assignments view, organized uh, by date, the most recent assignment along the top, and I think this will be an easy way for you to see the assignments that we've completed in class. Assignments are any activities that we've done where you're uh, going to <clears throat> receive a grade. This might be useful, the assignments list. Again, click on any of these. Uh, make sure that you click on this button here where it says open. Click here, again, it pops up. I would suggest only using the pop-up simply because it will allow you to easily go back to the main page. All right, so this is basically the main page, and this is how you can access this content. I will be adding additional views, both from here and also in the assignments, so that you can find different ways to uh, access the content. At this point, it's not necessary to sign in to the website. Um, perhaps, Going forward, if there are some activities that maybe involve Notion, uh, that may change. But for right now, you can access all of this information publicly without having to sign in to Notion. Again, I'll be saving this link to um, Microsoft Teams so that you can easily access this. And again, I wanted to provide a way to make available to the public essentially everything that we've completed throughout the semester. We are finishing half of the semester this, uh, for this class, and so I wanted to basically organize this information. And um, if it's helpful for you to kind of keep track what we're doing day to day through this calendar view, then I highly recommend that you uh, refer to this page. So now let's look at what 
the same information looks like on your cell phone. All right. The first thing you'll need to do is to install Notion on your cell phone. Now, I'm on an Android, but the process is going to be very similar if you're on an iPhone. You want to search Notion. So here's the app. Let me just make sure that it's installed. Once it's installed, you can open up the app. And if you scroll down, again, you can see the link to Flipgrid, the links that we talked about earlier and the schedule. So here we have the calendar view and the assignments view. Starting with the calendar view, let's say that you want to see something. Uh, notice that there are dots for the days where there are uh, activities. So for example, on Friday the 16th, if I click on this, notice this looks a little bit different on your cell phone. We have here uh, class, speaking activity, and week eight podcast episodes. So there are essentially three different activities for that day. And if we click done and we click a different day on the 17th, there's one task. If I click on this task, then it takes you to that task and you can see more information that's related to that activity or that task. So you'll notice along the top that there are breadcrumbs here that or there is a breadcrumb that allows you to go back to uh, different sites that are <clears throat> that are parent sites of uh, the page that we're in. I would suggest not using the breadcrumb and instead when you're finished with let's say you're looking at this activity I would use your back arrow on your browser or on your phone and that will take you back to where you were before. This will take you back to the the uh, listening speaking main page. Okay so Let's look at that one more time. Let's say you go to, uh, let's see, the 15th, October 15th. And notice here we have left arrows and right arrows, which is nice because then you can advance and look at different days. Uh, so that's a nice way to navigate from day to day. Uh, but let's say you open up a, an activity. And this is basically a, a class or a YouTube video that's embedded for that class. All right, so if you need to go back and see what we talked about in class, this is one way you can do that. But again, instead of clicking the breadcrumb, we don't want to do that. If we want to go back, just click the back arrow, and this will take you back to our main page. Okay, again, do that because uh, you'll notice that if you open up a, an activity and you click on the breadcrumb, there's no way to go back to the main page uh, for our class listening and speaking. There's just no way to do it. Um, I have contacted Notion about that. It's a little, kind of glitchy, uh, but it is what it is. All right, so here we have the main page. We have the assignments. Again, you can click on the assignments. These are exactly the same tasks. They're the same pages or subpages. It's just different ways of accessing or different ways of viewing this information. In this case, one way here is for assignments and the other is in the form of a, of a calendar. All right, so that's basically it. I wanted to show you how to access this content through Notion, both using your computer and also your cell phone. Again, it's optional for now. Uh, it's not necessary that you use this website, but I'm going to be using it more and more for as we uh, continue the latter part of our uh, semester. So you might find it useful in, in that we're trying to organize basically everything we've done uh, day to day in a way that is uh, useful for you.